Tinimbu Shetima will win 2023 election. Buhari, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Mr. Buhari made a prediction when he received Senator Kashim Shetima at the State House, Abuja, on Wednesday. President Muhammad Buhari has predicted that the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, Asiwaji Bola Tinembu, and his running mate, Kashim Shetima, will win the 2023 presidential election. Garaba Shehu, the president's spokesman, said Mr. Buhari made a prediction when he received Senator Kashim Shetima, the running mate and vice presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress at the State House, Abuja, on Wednesday. Mr. Shehu said the president struck a chord of humor by responding to a flower speech by Mr. Shetima, saying, I'll respond to your speech when I'm handing over to you and your boss, God willing. You are going to win. President Buhari, who received a vice presidential candidate shortly after he was unveiled by the leadership of the party, and Bola Ahmed Tenembu, expressed delight over his choice of the former governor of Brunei State as running mate. I wish you the best. Your consistency in the party is very respectful. You served the two terms as governor and finished well. You have kept touch with your base. At every important occasion or event, you are maintaining support for the one who succeeded you. This is commendable, he said. The president expressed strong optimism that the all-progressive Congress ticket would emerge victorious in 2023. In his remarks, the vice presidential candidate thanked the president for his empathy, support and positive role, leading to his emergence as running mate to the all-progressive presidential candidate. He praised the president for having a special place in your heart for Bronu and Northeast. I can cite 20 to 30 instances of your support you have rendered, for which you will be remembered. He mentioned the establishment of a Northeast Development Commission, NEDC, and the independent power plant for Midugri by the NNPC after many years of darkness. He added that words cannot describe our appreciation of your support. We will remain eternally, eternally grateful. Mr. Shetima requested the president to appreciate his successor, Babaganda Zulum, who was in his company, along with the Minister of State Agriculture, Mustafa Baba Shehuri, for spotting recurrent mention of him and pressure from his governor colleagues to bid for the vice presidential ticket. The kind of pledge to remain loyal and devoted to the president, promising that his vice presidency will not be for the church of House of Fulani and Canary, but for all Nigeria, irrespective of all religion or geographical place of origin. Okay. You know, eh, my problem with these people is that they're not Democrats. Look, why it is very good to be optimistic. Hmm? It is good to be optimistic, but it's not good to be overconfident. APC, they have come out this past few days, and they have all been about, you know, re-winning the election. You know, they, they, they say it as if they have done the election. It is just, uh, it is just the results that have been announced, and they are so certain, and they are so sure. They don't even say things like, oh, the people, you know, the people will well. On one or two occasions, they've actually said the people will vote for them, and I really, really laughed out loud. So, for me, they're just emitting signs of overly being confident, and it is not a thing to have when you are actually going into an event. Okay? With this statement, it has shown that the President Buhari and his party and the Independent National Electoral Commission have concluded plans to rig the 2023 presidential election in favor of his party. It is, see, I don't blame anybody who talks like this because you're not even telling the people Naina go vote. You're not telling the people Naina go vote. I'm going to vote person with the competent. They're all about, first of all, we will win. Nigerians will vote for us. Like, to me, I don't see any appeal 
I don't see any appeal. I didn't see them even. No, no. Well, Nigerians should re rise and reject this Aguadu plus cassava APC come 2023, inshallah. Okay. Only, only foolish nothing will vote Obi. Because of the hatred Obi sent Northern and out of Anambra State, he was harsh on the governor of the state during his reign as governor. A tribalistic man cannot be president of Nigeria. We are still writing book about Obi Moki past. Mm. Okay. All right. The talk is about the bishop. Media houses are happy. Tenobu is in the contest. Either you are for or against. Tenobu is on everyone's lips. Our incoming president, inshallah. Okay, no problem. My own is... My own is, you know, you are not to be too sure. Why is it not a crime to be optimistic about you saying, ah, this thing, why they do, you go walk. You don't be too sure. You're not supposed to be overly confident. And see, especially when it has to do with people coming in, you give those people this sense of belonging, say, after all, I go vote, you understand? Ah, wow. With your respect, sir, you're not going to win anything. <laughs> God over everything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Are you God or haven't people suffered enough? I didn't know it was my president. Okay. Um. God said my way is not your way and your way is not my way. Well, see, Nigerian people, there is no need to come out and even sweat over this one because this is what is going to happen. We are going to come out and cast a vote. And after coming out to cast a vote, we are going to um, not just cast a vote. We are going to cast a vote for the most competent person. After casting a vote for the most competent person, uh, we go hand over everything. We go tell Bago, they say we don't do our own. And then, at the end of elections, we go dig the email, then upload the result. If they upload the result finish, then, you know, we go wait for the result. Hopefully, at the end of the day, we are going to have this breath of fresh air. After, not just after election day, but after post-election period. Because that is the main thing. Some people are so keen on what is going to happen during the election that they don't even think about what will happen after election. Now, after post-election, we're going to know whether we'll pick person where we see, you know, they're eligible or competent or not. That is why I'm so keen on us making sure we pick someone who is credible, who is competent, and who is capable. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>